try and be diplomatic here. I'm going to have the cops throw you off for trespassing. What is so important about here? One of Reisman's guys just bought the map. Later. You're Nazis. Radical. Hey! There is it. What? You turned me in? Well, no, not really. Hardcastle, we've got this place closed off. One more time for Larry! Milton C. Hardcastle is a retired judge from the Los Angeles Superior Court. Mark McCormick, an ex-race car driver turned thief, was Hardcastle's last case. McCormick has been placed in the judge's custody, and together they're going after 200 cases that walked out of Hardcastle's courtroom on technicalities. Something like this. Oh. Put it. C'est la tour pièce. Très intéressante, non? Très vieux. Les marques sont de Geheimdienst avant la guerre. Qu'est-ce que vous pensez pour connaître de Geheimdienst? Assez? Mille francs. Take it easy this time, huh? I don't even worry about taking it easy. You just keep these people off my beach. Well, don't scream at him again, would you, please? Not the aggro dude again. I'm not going to scream at him, all right? Okay. All right, that's it! Oh. Get out of here! Get off the beach! Go now! Huh. Hey, look. We're not going to bail, okay, Kimasavi? I mean... You know, the knobs are going to clear us with the town council vote anyway. So, right. you know, what's the gig? We'll see who wins the vote. Oh, hey, look, God. mate. I mean, this is a roast, okay? I mean, we're ready to go outside right now and, like, cowabunga, you know? I mean, me, Donnie, and Wigger are pumped to carve some tasty sets, okay? Yeah. I'm sorry, really. And you want to make us go all the way to Newport and, like, ride the foam? I'm sorry, but that's fully spun, okay? Well, were you dropped on your head when you were a kid or what? What? What, is it? what he's saying, Judge, is that he and his friends, Donnie and Wigger, wanted to ride the surf off of your beach. Now they're going to have to go down and ride flat right water on. at Newport, and they don't think that's fair. Right. 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 Okay, I'll tell you what, Wigger. Bug off and go to Newport. 
what are we? I'm Raz. Quigger's over there. Wake up. Okay, that's it. Go now. Forget it. Somebody ought to wax that dry what? dude's board. Wax what? Is that a threat? No, no. You? What do you say? Take what? it easy. No. Will you please? What? What is it with you? It's a beach. Big deal. It's not just a beach, okay? I got my good reasons. You want to fill me in on them? No, it's not your business. Just get the people off the beach. Now. Go on. All right, look, guys. Until this beach is declared a legit free zone, then this dry dude's got a case on the gig, and he's going to stand on the badge until the man upstairs pushes the button on riparian rights and the eminent domain deal. In other words, until the town council says it isn't, this is my beach. They don't vote until Tuesday, at which time I'm voting against it because it's still my house. Okay, now put that in your righteous tubes and float it on out of here. Down to Newport. Go! McCormick, you're on guard here. Get them off. Yeah. Thanks for stopping oh, by. And okay. All right, let's go. Come on. Come on, get out of here. Let's go. If that beach doesn't go public, we can't go in there and dig around. This hard castle's a real law and order nut. He's going to cause us plenty of trouble. Our lawyers put together a first-class statement for that surfer kid. He's going to blow Hardcastle's Beach Association right out of the water. What's happening with the map? Ah, uh, your grandfather's got one of his old buddies looking for it in Europe. We're supposed to just wait for orders? Hey, we both know the old man still thinks the war's going on. What do you want from me? The map. Foxy! Yeah? Malibu operator, I have a collect call from Paris, France. Will you accept the charge? Yeah. One of Riesman's guys just bought the map. Name's Egan Kopp. He's a Nazi war criminal, and he just booked a flight to L.A. All right, we'll take care of him. Of course. Well, then why don't you? I told you. It's a long story. Pretty spun, if you ask me. Oh, it's been so long since it happened, sometimes I wonder if it's really true. Anyway, I made a surfer's promise, so... I told you it was a wrap. If you'd been around the Banzai Pipeline on the North Shore of Hawaii back in 68, you'd know what I mean. It's the only time I ever saw it. Saw what? The perfect wave. It only comes around, well, every 70 years or so. Usually after an offshore hurricane. Sailors used to tell stories about it. Even the native Hawaiians are afraid of it. They said it had bad magic. They called it Uka Highway. Ha, ah, nah, nah. Come on, man. This is out of that movie. More like out of a nightmare, sweetheart. At least it was for longboard Larry Morgan. You heard of him, right? No, who was he? Longboard Larry Morgan was my best friend. Maybe the best surfer this world has ever seen. Larry Morgan and I, we paddled off the North Shore about a mile and a half. Waited there three whole days that year for that wave to come in. Oh. And when she did, man, she was something to see. You should have seen her. She had a pipeline that you could drive a freight train through. The backside alone must have measured up 90 feet high. There she was, just moving down on the both of us, sucking up everything in its path, blowing foam out, a mile and a half in the air, spitting out yachts like they were, like they were rubber ducks in a storm drain. You should have seen it. It was incredible. Riding that thing was like surfing down the face of Mount Everest itself. How? What happened? I woke up in a hospital after three days of being unconscious. Longboard Morgan, what happened to him? Larry Morgan's surfboard washed up on the coast of Japan a few days later. Wow. Well, no wonder you won't surf. I 
No. I'm gonna surf again. But I made a promise to the memory of longboard Larry Morgan that it wouldn't be until that killer wave comes around just one more time. You hear me? Just one more time for Larry. I think you would have done better by telling the one about winning the Indy 500. Think so? Yep. Foam a mile and a half high, spitting out yachts like rubber ducks. <laughs> A little too much? Well, it's where you lost me. You know, up until a very recent past, the shores of this magnificent country were protected, you know, by federal land grants and the United States Coastal Commission. But more recently, thanks to a rather rapid population growth, especially on the West Coast, certain interests have felt it necessary to prohibit free access to various recreational resources, you know, like Seagull Beach. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we can understand, we appreciate, you know, why these people would want to protect such spectacular sections of real estate. But hey, you know, no one can own the oceans. You know? Yeah. You know, and I humbly suggest that no one can own their access either, at least until their jurisdiction passes, you know, the county or local municipality thereof. So thank you very much.
Mr. Hardcastle, would you care to make a rebuttal on behalf of the Private Beach Association before I move for a vote? I never said I didn't want anybody playing volleyball on my beach. It's, it's not your beach! Yeah. However, the Beach Association and I would like to ensure that the area in question is not going to be littered with a lot of beer cans and beach blankets and surfboard wax. <laughs> Besides, we don't want you kids running around down there naked, okay? <laughs> There are, there are some people here who work very hard to buy their beachfront properties, and I think they have a point. And the point You've got big problems, Dan. I had one of your grandfather's men looking for the map in Europe, a guy named Aegon Kopp. He found it? Oh, yeah, he found it. That's what my people tell me. They just found his body in a ravine off of Harlem Road. Somebody else is in on this thing, Dan. Uh, he didn't have the map on him. It's gone. So you lost the vote. Big deal. They opened up your precious beach. You'll live. The beach going public didn't bother me. Sure. It didn't, as long as they do it legal. <laughs> Judge, they did do it legal. I know, I know. What's that punk's name? Snaz? Spaz? What? You mean the guy who made you look like the captain of the seventh grade debate team? He did not make me look like the captain of the seventh grade debate team. His name is Raz. He did do a hell of a job, didn't he? And what he did was obfuscate the issues. He made me look like some kind of land baron trying to keep the merry men out of Sherwood Forest. Oh, so that's it. What's it? You've been storming around here all day because some surf punk made you look like a jerk, huh? Well, being made to look like a jerk is important to some people. Debate team headquarters. Yeah, hold on. Judge, it's Judge Washington. Yeah, Larry, did you get it? Terrific! <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with using the law the way it was meant to be used, eh? Uh, okay, thanks a lot, Larry. Bye-bye, I owe ya. Using the law the way it was meant to be used? None of your business. Judge, did you have your friend Washington pull some strings on this beach deal? I never pull strings. And what did you do? Hardcastle had some judge put a temporary restraining order on the open beach proposal. My grandfather is coming up here tomorrow from Argentina. And believe me, he'll find what he's been waiting 50 years to find if he has to turn that beach into a swamp. Say it. Say what? Say hypocrite. It's written all over your face. Come on. You're wrong, Judge. When these kids with their surfboards and their beach blankets, they have a right to this beach. Listen, I like to come down here sometimes. You don't know. You're asleep. You're out. Late at night. I come down here so I can be by myself and I can look around and think things over and remember stuff that used to make me happy, all right? All this time, I thought you had a paper route. Yeah, well, it's very important to me to be able to come down here and have this place to myself, to be alone, all right? And I don't want to have to wade through a whole bunch of kids in weird haircuts and stringy bikinis to get here. Especially here. Why? What is so important about here? Because this is the place where I asked my wife to marry me. That's why. Right here, okay? No, it's right there. Right, right there. Right here. See? I didn't know that. Well, now you do. She used to call this place Seagull Beach. Judge, do you think she would want you to keep this place all to yourself? 
Ah, she loved kids, McCormick. More the merrier. All kinds. On a hot Saturday afternoon, she'd give away three ice boxes full of food down here. Well, then why did you have Judge Washington put a restraining order on it? Because I need... I need a couple of weeks to get ready to give our place away, all right? You just keep them out of here till I get used to the idea. I'll show you how to hook up dinner here. No, no, I'll catch dinner. Why don't you go back up and start the charcoal, OK? Hey, you got something on there, McCoy. No, I don't, Judge. It's just that triple sinker setup I was yeah. telling you about. See, I got to run a lot of line and a lot of weight out there to keep the tide from taking it out. No, it's got to weigh 20 pounds. I know. It's heavy. It'll fool Please, you. Look at there. Judge, I know it. It, it feels like a lot of weight on there. Get, uh, the hell is that? What are you doing? Beer fishing. McCormick. Well, listen, it gets hot out here guarding the beach like this. I'm just trying to keep it cold. I know. Some people get to hang around with John Wayne, Clint Eastwood, Babe Ruth. What do I get? Jethro Bodine. <sighs> you think those guys are going to give us any trouble? Well, if they do, we'll kill them. I've waited 50 years to find this gold. It's too late for some punk like you to back out now. Hey, look, the money is fine, but I don't want nothing to do with murder. It's too late for that. We already finished the guy that brought this to us from France. Yeah, and now we got some stormtrooper that's going to go loony on us when he finds out that we got the map. He's not going to find out. And what are you going to do if he does? Do? I'm going to do what I should have done on this beach 50 years ago. I'm going to finish the job properly. Guess I'll take my time Oh yeah To reach there Look up at the mountain Yeah, yeah That I have to climb Oh yeah To reach there Lord, my body It's been a good day Yes, I'll take my time, oh yeah, to reach there. Miles from nowhere, not a soul in sight. But it's all right Look up at the mountain mm, That I have to climb Oh yeah To reach there Looks like somebody got here before us Bring the schmeiser. I 
miles from nowhere. Oh, yeah. Oh. Hey, Raz, you got to stay off the beach just a little while longer, all right? Huh. Mellow out is. Looks like somebody else already took it. What the hell is going on here? I was just about to ask you the same thing. Later. Whoa! Take it easy! You're dead. Hey, look, mate, I don't even know what this whole deal is about, okay? I, mean, I was just trying to catch a couple of waves this morning. I don't even know that dude. Thanks, Raz. You're a real stand-up guy, aren't you? Listen, I don't know him. He doesn't know me. Now, whoever you people think you got, man, you got the wrong guys. Good. You'll have plenty of time to explain that. It's going to take a while with ballistics, Milt. You got any ideas? I got about 400 of them. None of them make any sense. So when's the last time you saw McCormick? So at 7 o'clock, he got up early for a change. <clears throat> well, he knows how I feel about this beach thing. He's trying to help me. So he's been missing for about three hours. Yeah. But you don't think he finally took off on you, do you? I mean, is that a possibility? Hey, that beach is all chopped up down there. It looks like a geological dig. Now, whoever is looking for something is looking for it real hard. Well, it could be vandalism. No, I doubt that. Hey, besides the shell casings, there's a surfboard washed up on the shore down there. And it's not McCormick's. McCormick couldn't, he couldn't surf down an escalator. No, I wasn't thinking about him being lost at sea, but you have been having trouble with surfers crashing your beach. Now, some of them are pretty tough kids, and they can play hard. They don't go play that hard. Listen, there was eight shell casings down there, right? Eight. Now, we're probably talking about automatic weapons. You know any surf punks that are going to claim territory with firepower like that? Will you check the lab? Okay, they're still working on it. It's a pretty strange caliber. Yeah, Giles. Got anything yet? Pretty strange deal, too. Are you sure about that? Okay, thanks. Well, you're gonna love this part, Milk. What? Those shell casings are from a Schmeisser MP40. Machine gun, isn't it? Yeah, it's a machine gun, all right. Okay, we got the registered owners, we'll check the hot list for thefts, and we work backwards, and we'll probably find somebody here on the southwest coast. Milk is not gonna be that easy. That Schmeisser hasn't been manufactured in over 50 years. And back then, it was a weapon of choice for the Geheimdix. The guy what? Adolf Hitler's personal goon squad. Nazis? Well, that's radical. Hey, listen, if you guys got some metric wrenches and stuff, could you, like, take a look at my Volkswagen bus? Because I just can't keep that thing tuned. <coughs> oh, come on, man. Leave him alone. We... It's just a kid. <laughs> These are the two we found on the beach this morning after it was dug up. Also, das sind die. So, you were on my beach this morning? Look, fella, you're gonna have to get in line. A lot of people have been thinking it's their beach lately, you know. Oh. You think it was your beach, my friend? Hey, look, bud, you know, all I wanted to do is get a buzz on and ride some water, okay? Uh, it's... No, no. 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 Maybe one of you will tell me why you dug up the beach. We didn't, okay? I mean, I don't know. I didn't. 
Maybe somebody else did, okay? I mean, a lot of people are on that beach, you know, they're just... Hey! Oh, come on, man, take it easy with that thing, will you? Lighten up, bud. The Reich has no time for liars. For what? Is that right? You're Nazis. Nazis? Exactly. Wow. I didn't think those guys were still together. Where is it? With what? Please, we have no time for games, my friend. Where is it? What? What are you looking for? Hey, oh, come, come on, on man. Are you? It's on the beach. Oh, well, maybe it's on the beach. I don't know. Just tell me what you're looking for. I'll help. Come on, what are you doing? Oh, come on, man. I don't know. What do you want? Why? Where is it? Why? Where is it? What? Like, we don't have any idea how those holes got dug on your beach. And, like, I haven't seen Raz in, like, two days. Well, doesn't that bother you? Something could have happened to him, you know? We thought about it, you know? Like, hey, you know, once, like, I didn't see Raz for, like, two weeks, and he was, like, surfing in Australia, okay? Yeah. If he was surfing in Australia, why would he leave his board on my beach? Hmm? Now, listen, I don't want you to strain your mental processes this early in the day, but something's going on around here. Two people are missing, and it's because of what happened on that beach. Now, have you ever heard a legend or a fable or something about anything being buried on a beach? Yeah, yeah, you know, like, uh, once I was, like, rapping with this old dude that works up on the pier, and he was, like, telling me about some kind of buried treasure or something that's supposed to be around here. <laughs> but this dude was pretty wasted. <laughs> Where could I find this wasted dude? Yeah, I heard of that. Spent about 15 years of my life looking for it. Supposed to be worth millions. Uh, I think it was just a story, like Loch Ness. Seagull Beach. Yeah, one of them. Some folks thought it was Seagull Beach, but we couldn't comb in there because it was private. Some real rich family owned it. Remember? They had a heck of a good-looking daughter. Of course, that was a long time ago. That's my wife. A oh, pretty gal. Sure was. Yeah. Anyway, after digging up most of the sand from here to Mexico, I figured that them Nazis must have never even buried nothing around here. Just a story to tell to pass the time or pull in your nets. Nazis? Yeah, so they said. Supposed to have made a raid around here just before the war. Tried to deliver a bunch of gold bullion to help start off the bun. <laughs> you know, they said the Japanese attacked Santa Barbara, too. He made a movie about it. <laughs> but it never happened either. <laughs> Thank you, Sandy. Yeah. Hey, hey, you know, you know, Milt, you might want to talk to old man Maxwell. I heard a long time ago, he was on the civil defense back then when they scared them Nazis off. Oh, he used to love to talk about it, but then, then people started saying he was crazy. Maxwell? Yeah, if he's still alive. He used to own a souvenir shop on Pacific Coast Highway, near the pier. Ah, oh, yes. That'd be 17. All hey. right. The guy down at the pier said you might know something about a place called Seagull Beach. Uh, Seagull Beach. No, afraid I never heard of it. That's odd, isn't it? Mm, not really. It's a long coast. Yeah. Anyway, this guy said that he thought you might be one of the civil defense guys that got into it with the Nazis back before the war. Said it happened right here on the coast. Wrong guy, huh? Must have been. I couldn't get into civil defense. I got bad knees. Oh, thanks. Anytime. I didn't, um, I didn't get the name. Hardcastle. Milt Hardcastle. I got a little place up above Seagull Beach. I think you know something, Max. Keep my eye on you. See you around. Yeah, Milt, what's up? Uh, listen, I want you to run a check on a guy named James Maxwell. He's got a souvenir shop down on the beach. And do what? Well, nothing, unless it turns out he was in the civil defense back during the war. Then we might have some trouble. What kind of trouble? The kind that comes with swastikas and boots. I must confess, Herr McCormick, that I am very impressed with your fortitude. You would have been an excellent soldier for their life. You can drop dead, both of you. No. 
you feel well enough to begin again? Leave him alone, man. He's just a kid. What do you uh, want? All right, all right, all right, all right, wait. Just wait. I'll tell you. Hardcastle's got it. Hardcastle? Yeah, Milton Hardcastle. He lives on Seagull Beach. I mean, I work for the guy, you know? I mean, I always thought he was a little nuts. But, I mean, lately he's been digging up the entire beachfront down there that he owns. I mean, he even had a bunch of surfers arrested for trespassing, you know? I mean, yeah, he's the one. He's got it. Take us to him. Records and ID has a whole history on this guy Maxwell. He did some time for selling illegal weapons. It's kind of a nutcase. He's been in and out a couple of times. He was in the Civil Defense in 1941. Let me see that. And before Hardcastle married into his wife's family, they arrested him for trespassing on Seagull Beach a couple of times. Property damage, that kind of thing. Thank you. What do you want with me? I guess that depends on who you told what you know. I don't know what you think I know. The Nazi gold, Hardcastle. I found it first. Finally, but I found it. Well, congratulations. Maybe you can tell me what happened to McCormick. Who? The guy you hauled off the beach. You gotta park it around the back. All I wanted was the money. Now! Uh, sorry, Judge. I couldn't think of anything else to tell him. Ah, you are the one that has my gold, huh? Who is this clown? Oberskinter is a man light at this Geheimdienstes. Oh, of course. Well, then, you know Mr. Maxwell over there. You met some years ago. He's the one that's got your gold. Hmm. I guess even the civil defense was too much for you guys, huh? But it seems that the enemies of the Reich never change. No, I think you got that a little wrong, pal. Except for the armbands, you're practically on the same team. All units, all frequencies, proceed to L2 to Okay, we stay on these guys. 
Nobody make a move until I say to. Hard castles in there. Not too late. Now we have the money to relight the pond, the Reich. think. Maxwell and Reese are in jail. Zimmerman and Reisman are dead. 
and there's a couple of million bucks in solid gold sitting right out there in that ocean. Yeah, well, I guess that's where it belongs. A couple of days, the tide's going to cover it all up with sand. Bury that kind of sickness for good. It's funny how some people want to hang on to something, even when it's evil. Yeah. Nazis, man. It's still hard to believe that they were behind all this. Greed was behind all this. That's all. I do have one question for you. What's that? How did Reisman and his clowns know to come to me looking for the gold? I mean, Maxwell knew I was on to him, but Reisman didn't know anything. I told him. Oh. What? I told him. You told him what? I told him you had the gold. You turned me in? Well, no, not really, Judge. You mean not really? No. You told the Reisman and your old buddy Hardcastle had the gold? That's turning me in. What's the matter? You can't take that stuff, huh? Huh? You gotta, you gotta drag me into it to save your neck? No. Judge, listen, man. Oh, well, sure. I guess if you can't fight your own battles, it's okay to pull your friends into something so you don't get hurt. Judge, I know. We're friends. You're right. But, man, that guy had a cattle prod. Give me a break. Don't explain. Judge, now, wait a minute. You would have figured it out in a day or two. I just couldn't afford to wait that long. That's all. What if I didn't figure it out? But you did. You see, I know you better than you know you. Don't flatter yourself. <laughs> listen, I might be a fully spun dude, but I didn't expect you to hair out on me. I mean, I know that you were fully pumped and ready to bail because that crowd was a bad dude. <laughs> However, seeing how sketchy the deal was, it was kind of a wheeze to see you get biffed by Nazis. <laughs> what? Well, what he means is uh, you've done pretty good considering how bogus could have gotten on this, right? Fully. <laughs> All right. All right, uh, you kids, come here. All right. Listen, grab the shovels, fill in the hole, and the beach is yours. Well, what can I tell you? I'm a little 60s, but for a raspy dude, I get by.